G'day guys, I'm out this afternoon on a rabbit contract. There's also pigeons and Indian miners. Let's see how we go. Tool of choice on this job, I'm running my FX Impact Mark III, chambered in 22 cal. Just for something different, there's a freaking cow going back over here, shut up. I'm shooting 25.5 grain Zan slugs. Why did I change from 23s? Because I can. These things are a bunch of fun to tune. They're very broad in the range of projectiles that you can shoot out of them. So. Let's see what these slightly heavier pills go like on the rabbits. That's not really smart. He stuck his head right up on the top of the pile. Won't do that again. I'm not all that far from this timber pile, but with all the brown and greys in there, these rabbits, they blend in perfectly. I probably should have bought a thermal over here, even though it's daylight, but we'll make do. Just see his ears and his head behind all those sticks. That's what I mean. They are so hard to see. But I'll tell you what, this 4K Alpex image, it's done a really nice job. Oh, you might be in trouble. I've got a big water dragon sitting on a log up here in amongst where all these rabbits are, so pretty cool to see that guy. I'm doing a little bit of vehicle based shooting again here. I've done it before. The animals are very used to the car, yet the minute you get out on foot, spooks them so I'm just kind of doing laps at the moment it's reasonably successful chewing into the pigeons a couple of Indian miners a few rabbits so we'll just keep doing that it's a reasonable little area to cover this way it takes me about 15 minutes a lap so it sort of works out all right Oof. That I always get flogged down in the comments, what have I done to my air rifle? It's a standard 700mm barrel, superior lining, obviously a suppressor. I've got an Air Marksman 700cc 300 bar bottle. Sabre Tactical Arca Swiss adapter on the bottom. Sabre Tactical TRS rail on the top. On the back end of the rifle, I've really got no power upgrades at all, other than a hybrid pellet probe. There's no power mods, anything like that. It's a very standard rifle in that aspect. Up on top, I've got the brand new Hick Micro Alpex 4K. I'm really keen to see what this guy works like after dark. The image in the daylight is outstanding, and I also want to give the ballistics a good test, which the air rifle will certainly do. I'm driving these 25 and a half grain Zan slugs at about 930 feet per second. For the English gentlemen that always pester me, what is the rifle in foot pounds? Because that's extremely important. Apparently, it's bang on 50. No, 
it's not sub 12. I ended up going and getting my thermal, it's nearly dark and I can see rabbits up in this timber and I can't even see them with the naked eye. Shot a bloody stick, of course I did. I'll put this video up on the screen, it's officially about 12 minutes past sunset and I'm looking at a willy wagtail on this pile of timber and it is bloody outstanding, it's still in colour mode, no external lights, the image and sensor on this Alpex, 4K, certainly impressive. It is now about 25 minutes past sunset. I'm starting to see a little bit of noise in that colour display. As you can see, I've adjusted the camera to show what it looks like normally. And I'm also recording through the scope and I'll show you what it looks like through the eyepiece. Like I said, a little bit of noise shimmer starting to come into that display now, but it's still bloody impressive. <laughs> There's our willy wagtail, low and right at the reticle centre. I've gone to night mode and that is with no IR light source on at all. As you can see on that display, it's not quite proper dark, but it's not far off it. If I want to walk back to the car, I'm nearly going to need a headlight. I would class that as properly dark there now. It's lining up a rabbit. I can still see it, but it is hard to see. Still works though. It's pretty impressive considering I don't have an IR light on, but I need to go back to the car and grab that. Let's do so. I would class it as dark now. The image is still usable, most definitely. A stupid bull here having a little bit of a stampede. Watch that about 60 yards away. And that image is still certainly usable, as long as there's not too much cover, ducks and stuff moving around out there. One thing I don't like is the size of the LRF splash, it's quite wide. It's probably still precise enough for short feed levels, but if it was longer grass it could be a problem, we'll have to find out. Twenty-five yards. Oh, I missed it just. Oh, didn't miss that one. Another one out there in the grass, but it's hard to see. 133 yards. It's a 10 mag on the scope. It's hard to see. 133 yards.
133 yards, happy days. Well, we're about halfway through the shoot and I've certainly got a pretty good impression of what this Alpex 4K is capable of. Down in the comment section, I'd appreciate it if you guys let me know what you think compared to the usual PAR DS3570 that I normally run. While you're down in the comments, mash the like button, it does help me a bunch. We've gone to red mode on this small rat. I've just hit it with one of those Zan 25 and a half grain slugs. And I tell you what, I don't think I've heard anything get hit so hard with an air rifle. It's absolutely plastered this thing. I won't show you the other side. A little bit like the 308. It's quite the mess. I've just spotted a fox up here about 250 metres away. We'll see if we can close in on foot and get a shot off. There isn't too much doubt that those 25 and a half grain slugs aren't up to the task in the back of the head of a fox. That is fantastic. I just want to give a big shout out to Ben from Hunt the Night. He's a huge channel supporter. He also sent me the Alpex 4K to play with. If there is anything that I am using on this shoot that does interest you, I'm going to put an icon up here on the display. Go and check it out. Nine yards. Oof. I can't get to that fox, it's in all this water and reed and swampy smelly shit. I saw it go down in the scope, I don't think I need to go out in there just to get it. This little guy here is doing well with all the insects that are around. They're even crawling on him. Hey. They're very cool indeed. That's another fox on the other side of water. That's really annoying. I might be able to get round this one. We'll just see. I would like to have a look and see what damage that slug has done to the head of that animal. But if it's too far around, I'll just keep going. Six yard headshot. That's been another fantastic shoot. My little FX Impact Mark III is certainly still on song with those 25 grain projectiles. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Ensure you subscribe to the channel with the bell icon on. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like to have a look at my Patreon, and I'll see everyone next time.